Hi you folks, in this video we're going to have a look at a question involving diffraction gratings. So the element sodium emits two yellow lines with very similar wavelengths. These are known as sodium D lines and they have wavelengths of 589.0 nanometers and 589.6 nanometers. A diffraction grating has 1200 lines per millimeter. Calculate the angular separation in the first order diffracted beams of these two wavelengths. So we'll start off first of all with the equation which is given to you on your data sheet. So when the laser light passes through the diffraction grating, which is just a series of narrow slits rather than Young's double slit where we have two, here we have many slits, it passes through the diffraction grating and then we get a pattern on the screen where we have a series of bright spots. So the central spot is what we call the zero order and n in our equation represents the order. So n equals zero for that central spot. Then on either side of that spot, we have n equals one. Then next one after that would be n equals two and so on. So if we were looking at the screen, we would have a central spot n equals zero, then we would have spots on either side, which we call n equals one, and n equals two, and so on. So what we're being asked to find is what is the angular separation between the first order diffracted beams of these two wavelengths, which means that we need to find the angle between the first order for the first wavelength, which would be given as theta. And then we can work out the angle for the second wavelength. And once we have those two angles, we can then subtract them to find the difference. So let's look at the values we have and what we need to, to figure out here. Um, ultimately, we're trying to find theta. So D is the grading element. And we can find D from the information in the question where we are told 1200 lines per millimeter on the diffraction grating. So we have D is equal to one over the number of lines that we have per millimeter, which in this case is one over 1200, which is 8.33 by 10 to the minus four. Now we need to be careful of the unit here. This was 1200 lines per millimeter, meaning that we've worked out that the separation of those lines is 8.33 by 10 to the minus four millimeters. However, we need this to be in meters for the equation. So really what we've got is 8.33 by 10 to the minus four by 10 to the minus three. So we can bring all those terms together or those indices together and we get to the minus seven meters. So now that we know what D is, we know what the order is because it's the first order. So n is equal to one and we know the wavelengths involved. We can now begin to work out theta for each of the wavelengths. So we'll start off with the 589 nanometers. So the equation becomes 8.33 by 10 to the minus seven multiplied by sine theta is equal to one multiplied by the wavelength, which is 589 nanometers. So if we start to rearrange this, I'm gonna get rid of the 8.33 by 10 to the minus seven, bring it over to the right hand side where it will become a divide. So we have 589 nanometers we're dividing that by the grading element, but we want theta. So in order to get theta, we need to take the inverse sign of that calculation, which is 589, that's the wavelength, divided by the grading element. And when we put that into a calculator, we get 
0.998 degrees. So now let's have a look at the next wavelength, which is 589.6. So the equation will be the same as the one above. The only difference we'll have is that the wavelength is 589.6 nanometers. So theta will be equal to the inverse sine of 589.6 by 10 to the minus 9 over the grading element which is 8.33 by 10 to the minus 7 and that gives us a value of 45.056 degrees so they're extremely close so final step now is to work out the angular separation which would be to find the difference between these two numbers so we have 45.056 minus 44.998 and that gives us an answer of 0 0.058 degrees. So you can see now why I kept quite a few significant figures there because this number was very small.